The world is more complex than ever. With that complexity comes an enemy that is unpredictable, adaptable, scalable, and as lethal as our own army. To fight the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq during the past 15 years, the United States military deployed the most capable communications in its history. Commanders and soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, and coalition partners operating from tactical to strategic levels enjoyed unprecedented access to effective mission command, precision fires, joint ISR, logistics, and even telemedicine. The communications environment was congested, but our adversaries could not seriously contest our information dominance. As we look forward to the operating environment in the future, as described in the Army's operating concept, we predict that cyber in the communications environment is likely to be significantly more congested and contested by near-peer and regional peer competitors, as well as criminal and terrorist networks. Our ability to win in a complex world is to a great extent dependent on our ability to effectively build, operate, and defend our communications networks while denying the same capability to our adversaries. The Cyber Center of Excellence leads the U.S. Army Training and Doctrine Command's Army Warfighting Challenge No. 7, conducts space, cyber, electronic warfare, and communications operations. In collaboration with other TRADOC centers of excellence, Army Cyber Command, Army Network Command, the Army's Intelligence and Security Command, and the Communications and Electronic Command, U.S. Cybercom, and other joint and multinational stakeholders, we strive to answer how the Army, in conjunction with joint, intergovernmental, multinational, and private sector partners, assure access to critical data and information networks across multiple domains that are subjected to an increasingly congested and contested cyber and electromagnetic environment while denying the same to the enemy. We recognize that whoever dominates space, cyberspace, and the electromagnetic spectrum enjoys significant operational advantage. In fact, the future is already here. We've observed Russian Federation forces in Crimea effectively employ integrated cyber, electronic warfare, intelligence, and information operations capabilities against Ukrainian forces. It is absolutely imperative for the Army to integrate maneuver in cyberspace with the other forms of maneuver to deny the enemy's ability to conduct operations in cyberspace while preserving U.S. freedom of action. We must solve gaps in cyberspace situational understanding, defensive and offensive cyberspace operations, offensive electronic attack, and cyber and electromagnetic collaboration tools. Continuing to innovate and collaborate with our industry and academic partners to validate new concepts will help ensure our future success in the cyber domain. That is what CyberQuest is all about, providing world-class, Army-led, cyberspace, electronic warfare, and signal experiment and assessment. The Cyber Center of Excellence's Cyber Battle Lab provides an ideal location to foster collaboration and innovation, which will allow us to inform requirements and explore emerging technologies and concepts in a real-world environment. This will undoubtedly give our Army an added combat multiplier and ensure our units across the globe overwhelm the enemy and win in future cyber and electronic warfare. The Cyber Center of Excellence plays a pivotal role in the process of developing and merging key doctrinal, organization, training, materiel, leadership and education, personnel and facilities enabling concepts and capabilities that maximizes the Army's development and execution of electromagnetic spectrum and cyber capability. Cyber was established due to the revolutionized threat of near-peer adversaries with integrated electronic warfare, cyber attacks, and kinetic capabilities, a game-changer in what the nation has seen in recent conflicts. 
Army Warfighting Challenge No. 7 maintains the focus of assuring the uninterrupted access to critical communications and information links across a multi-domain architecture. When operating in a contested, congested, and highly competitive operating environment, this year, the Experimentation Force comprises of an Infantry Brigade Combat Team Command Post from 25th Infantry Division, Hawaii, and a dismounted Infantry Platoon from Alpha Company 1st 29th Infantry Battalion from Maneuver Center of Excellence, Fort Benning, Georgia. The staff role players will be incorporated to establish a sim visualization environment that can be overlaid with the common operating picture to inform the commander on what is occurring and determine impacts they're facing. Commanders operate in tough and challenging environments where the enemy doesn't follow a playbook. Cyber Battle Lab understands the big picture, and we work with commanders, academia, and industry to develop solutions to new battlefield problems. We must challenge the system and conventional wisdom to ensure success. We must adapt and refresh the way we develop concepts and capabilities and educate and train our force. So CyberQuest is a phenomenal way for you to directly influence the United States Army's future cyber, signal, electronic warfare, and space capabilities and forces. The Cyber Center of Excellence has assembled the right soldiers and leaders from across the Army. And with our team at Fort Gordon, along with cyber developers, our partners in the research and development community, and with our industry partners, we have created this exciting event. I want to thank all of you who have participated in this great experiment that allows us to ensure that our forces enjoy decisive overmatch in the future. What we learn during CyberQuest will allow the Army to provide the joint force with multiple options, integrate efforts of multiple partners, operate across multiple domains, and present our enemies and adversaries with multiple dilemmas. So for all of you working on CyberQuest, what you're doing today will positively affect the future of the United States Army.